Sleep. Sounded like a bad dream, so I figured I'd wake you. Thanks. It was more of a nightmare than a bad dream. My dad says dreams and nightmares are just our brains sorting out all our good and bad thoughts. Well, then I guess I'm having a lot of bad thoughts. I'm worried about Aunt Mamie. <sighs> yeah, I'm worried too. But Aunt Mamie needs us now more than ever to help with the animals and make sure everything is taken care of. And when she gets back home, she'll be so proud to see that everything is running smoothly. Mm-hmm. Huh. <sighs> is there something else bothering you, Kira? I texted my friend Lila to tell her I'd be home in a few days. And she didn't even answer. Mm. Well, maybe she's just busy. She'll be lucky to have a friend like you back. I know I'm going to miss you loads after you're gone. Come on. We should make the most of the time that you have left. We'll spend lots of time together. And with Baby Bean, of course. Yeah, you're right. Ace, let's start with breakfast. Oh, can you give me some okay, over here, please? Okay, give it a quick little stir here. Phew. It's going to be a scorcher today. We need to keep our eyes peeled for bushfires. Dad? Is it true there's a fire a few miles away? Yes, the wind is pushing the blaze in our direction. What if it reaches the sanctuary? Well, it's a possibility, so we've got to be prepared. I just got off the phone with Auntie Lynette at the hospital. What'd she say? How's Aunt Mamie? Aunt Mamie is stable. <sighs> but she's not out of the woods yet. She has a heart condition, and she'll need to stay in the hospital for a little longer. It's not going to be easy running this place without her. I know, and she'll need extra support once she gets back home. So, I've decided to extend our stay to help out at the sanctuary and with Aunt Mamie's recovery. <laughs> How long are we staying, Mom? Until the end of the summer. Yes! Thank you, Susan. Having you and Kira with us through this hard time will be a great support. We'll need to redistribute chores until Aunt Mamie is back on her feet. Alexis! After you finish your schoolwork, you'll help me set a trap for the predator. Mm -hmm. Then we need to clear brush on the south side of the sanctuary, just in case that fire comes our way. Kira, since you're the only one able to feed Bean, you can work with me and Auntie Lynette when she gets back to make sure Bean and the rest of the animals are taken care of. What? Uh, hang on! Why does Kira get to take care of the animals while I'm stuck with all the bad jobs? Hmm. There are no good jobs or bad jobs. Only jobs that need to get done. I should be taking care of Bean since I have more experience. Kira doesn't get to be here and help with the animals all the time, Alexis. But, uh, but now she's staying even longer. It's not fair. You live here. I only get a couple months. That's what's unfair. Yeah, I do live here. And that's why I should be the one taking care of the animals. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Brecky, Brecky, I've got bacon. <laughs> Come on, Brecky. I could sure use a friend right now. It looks like I'll be around to feed you bacon a bit longer, but I hate the reason we're staying. Aunt Mamie will need lots of extra help with the sanctuary when she gets back from the hospital. It's hard to even think of this place running without her. And to make things worse, Alexis is mad at me. But at least you're still my friend. Ah! Or maybe we were just friends when I had bacon. Oh. oh dear, I've made a mess of things. I've got it, Auntie Lynette. You should sit down and rest. Oh. Oh. There's so much that needs to get done around here without... So much to get done without Aunt Mamie? Mm hmm. <sighs> hmm. <gasps> he 
Here, try putting this on your neck. <sighs> Thanks, dearie. It's a trick my dad taught me when I was feeling overheated or overwhelmed. I'm scared about Aunt Mimi too, but me and my mom are going to do everything we can to help out. <sighs> I am relieved to hear that you two are staying. It'll be a big help to me and your Aunt Mamie when she gets home from the hospital. <sighs> At least someone is excited that we're staying. What do you mean, dearie? I think that I upset Alexis a lot. It's just her life is... perfect. I wish I had it. Kira, believe me. She loves that you're here. And her life isn't perfect. What do you mean? Well... Alexis doesn't get to spend much time with kids her own age. I guess I never thought about that. She's still learning how to have a best mate. Give her time. Ugh, I am feeling much better. Your dad's trick worked wonders. How's Veggie doing? Mm. I think Veggie's road to recovery might be a bit longer than we thought. These wounds look a bit infected. I sure hope Mr. Curry catches that predator soon, before it attacks any more animals. Auntie Lynette, is Aunt Mamie going to be okay? I hope so, dearie. The hardest part right now is the unknown. But Mamie would want us to focus on keeping the animals healthy and the sanctuary safe. So how about you go help Tala with Bean? Mm-hmm. This one has been extra passe ever since the bonding with Mum didn't go so well. I think that's my fault. It's no matter. We just need to work harder to get him to eat. What are we gonna do if they don't bond? In that case, we may need to find him another home. I've reached out to a few other sanctuaries to see if they can help. I'm still crossing my fingers that Mum and Bean bond. I don't want him to leave. Me neither. But we've got to be ready just in case. I know that if anyone can get Bean to eat, it's you. <sighs> Come on, Bean. You have to eat. I knew you could do it. It wasn't easy, but I finished clearing brush so I could come over and help feed Bean. I just got the little guy to start eating. Good. Can I have a turn feeding him? It's a bit tough to get him to eat, so I don't want to disturb him. I've fed hundreds of fussy koalas, Kira. I know what I'm doing. I know you do, but Bean's in the middle of his bottle. Bean doesn't belong to you! <gasps> no, Bean! Alexis, keep your voice down. You're scaring him. Everything would be fine if you just give me a turn with him. But, Alexis, he... Your friend at home was right. You can't go with the flow. No wonder she doesn't want to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> Look what you did. Now he won't eat at all. Come on, Bean. Let's go find a more peaceful place to get you cleaned up and back in your pen. <sighs> I wish Alexis weren't so mad at me about Bean. You know her well, right, Boomer? I want us to be best mates again. What should I do to fix things? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, Susan. I'm so worried. It's going to be okay, Lynette. Mamie's tough. And we've got to be strong for her. Yeah, you're right. She is. <laughs> But now we know her heart is fragile. What if she's never able to go back to doing what she loves most? Taking care of the animals, this sanctuary, it's everything to her. The doctor could be underestimating Mamie. She's a fighter. True. But we need to be prepared in case she doesn't recover entirely. <sighs> this can't be happening. No. Aunt Mamie will recover. She has to.
Dad told me that the sanctuary would always belong to the Bailey family. But if Aunt Mamie isn't able to work here anymore, will the sanctuary still be a part of our family? Everything is falling apart. And the thought of losing Aunt Mamie scares me more than anything. Kira! We've got a big problem! What happened? The wombats escaped! The door to their pen was left open! The wombats... They got out. Oh no. I was... You were what? I was feeding them. And I was upset about our fight over Bean. And then I overheard Aunt Lynette and Mom talking and... I told you to always close the door, Kira! I know. I'm so sorry. The wombats won't make it in the wild on their own, especially with that predator still roaming around. We have to find them before it gets dark. Wait up! All right, team. We have to act fast and work smart to find the wombats before dark. We'll check the bush camp to see if the wombats have gone dumpster diving for food. Oh. Mr. Curry and Tala, please use the drone to search the grounds. Alexis, you'll be the runner to go look for anything your dad spots on the drone. Mm -hmm. That fire south of here is picking up and the winds are sending the blaze our way. We all need to watch out for brush fires while we're looking for wombats. And remember to always let someone know where you're searching. It'll be dark soon and we don't want anyone getting lost. That's right, safety first. Let's meet back here at nightfall. Okay. 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 That's not a work to do. Auntie Lynette, you didn't assign me a job. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't see you there. How about you help Alexis, okay? It's my fault the wombats got out. I'm so sorry. Oh, dearie, we all make mistakes, but it's how we fix them that matters. What's important now is that we work as a team to find them. Okay. Come on, let's get out there. I think I see one out by the road. Girls, go check it out and see if you can catch him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Alexis, wait up! There's no time to wait, Kira! But we need to work together. Please, slow down! Now. Oh, I've got him now. Grab the cage. <gasps> Can I grab him? Ah, this one bites. Better let me get him. Okay. Easy. Ah. Oh, come on now. Oh, you're a big boy. <laughs> come huh? on, you're all right. Like I have to catch this one on my own. Oh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here. Oh. 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 Wait. Come here. Something situation. Mm-hmm. 
Senator! Kira! Ah! <sighs> Alexis! I thought you were the Predator! Looks like you're still in one piece. I thought I was lost out here with all the snakes and spiders. I... I'm so happy to see you. Well, someone had to bring your supply pack. <laughs> <gasps> I'm so happy I found you, Kira. I was really worried. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alexis. I followed Boomer out here, but then I lost sight of him. He was just too fast. Let's just hope for the best, okay? Come on, let's head back to the camp. I, um, I'm sorry for running off earlier. No, you're right to be mad at me. I shouldn't have left the door open. Aunt Mamie would never make a mistake like that. I guess I'm just not cut out for life in the bush. That's not true. We all make mistakes, Kira. I know you like to be prepared for everything, but sometimes the best way to learn is by making mistakes. Maybe, but it makes me feel safer when I research and plan ahead as if I can prevent anything bad from happening. Well, you know what Aunt Mamie would say, right? You can't let your fear of the worst stop you from living your best. That's right. I know I shouldn't have come out here on my own, but this was a do-something situation, so I thought I should go with the flow. Kira, I'm sorry for repeating the hurtful words your friend said. I was upset, but I shouldn't have said that. It was mean. It's not mean if it's true. Well, it's not true. Your friend was wrong. Do you think you'll ever be friends with her again? I don't know. We don't like the same stuff anymore. But I don't like giving up a friendship. Is it giving up? Or letting go? Hmm. You know, Alexis? You're pretty smart. Do you smell smoke? Must be a wildfire. <gasps> what was that? Could be a lot of things. What do we do? We have to rush back to the camp and warn everyone about the fire. Girls! We were so worried about you. You found Boomer! He arrived just before you did. But you shouldn't have been out there in the first place. Alexis, you know better than to go off into the bush without telling anyone. It's my fault. Alexis came to save me. Please don't punish her. It was a do-something situation. Mr. Curry's right. You both need to remember safety is rule number one in the bush. I'm sorry, Annie Lynette. It won't ever happen again. But it might be a good thing we were there, because we saw a wildfire coming from the direction of the river. And with the wind blowing this way, that fire is headed right for the sanctuary. Right, I'll call the fire brigade. Hopefully they can put it out before it gets here. It's a good thing you girls caught it before it reached the sanctuary. You got it? Yeah, okay, good. Got a work to do. The fire brigade worked throughout the night, but unfortunately, that wildfire is still headed our way. We may need to prepare to evacuate. Evacuate? What would happen to all the animals? If the fire chief tells us we need to evacuate, then we'll take the animals to other sanctuaries. But this is their home! We may have to find new homes for the animals, just in case. 
Speaking of new homes, I just got off the phone with the koala sanctuary a few hours away, and they have a mother koala who just lost her joey. So we're thinking... But what about our mum? Oh, unfortunately, Bean and mum just aren't bonding. That happens sometimes, dearie. Oh, I know it's hard, Kira, but we have to focus on helping out around here. Aunt Mamie is coming home today, and there is so much we need to do. Hmm. And that's why we're going to work as a team to get everything done. I'll continue clearing brush to create fire breaks, while you and Lynette go pick up Mamie from the hospital. And I'll need both of you to help me out with the animals in the clinic. Boomer has some wounds that need to be treated, and we have to get Bean ready for his new home. Hmm, these look like claw marks. It must be the predator. Does it look like scratches or bites from a dingo? Or maybe a fox? The scratches are small but deep. The claws that made them were small but very sharp. I actually think these might be scratches from a feral cat. A feral cat? Yes, there are feral cats around here and they're a real problem. They may look like house cats, but they're nothing like them. Do these feral cats usually hang around near the tents? Well, we see them every now and then. Sometimes they're attracted by the smell of our food. Here, kitty kitty. <gasps> I think I know the cat that did this. I sometimes feed it scraps. You oh, oh. Hmm. I had no idea that it could be hurting the other animals. I just thought I was helping a hungry cat. Feral cats may look cuddly, but they're actually serious pests and cause a lot of damage to our wildlife. Maybe I could try to catch the cat. It knows me now. If you can, then we can take it to an animal shelter where it won't cause any more harm. And with the cat gone, we can safely release Veggie back into the wild. <gasps> You're okay. Just hold still. I got you. You're gonna be okay. I can handle Boomer from here. Why don't you girls go and feed Bean? Okay. Mm -hmm. The bottle's ready for you guys. Would you mind helping me feed him? Are you sure? 100%. Come on, Bane. He's right here. Come on. Um, he's not latching on. I think he wants you. Try wiggling the bottle in front of his mouth. I learned to make it like a little game for him, and then he wants to latch on. Come on. It's right there. Oh, <laughs> wow. Cool trick. I'll definitely use this with fussy koalas in the future. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited that Aunt Mamie is coming home today. Yeah, me too. But I'm worried that she's going to be upset with me for not visiting her in the hospital. I'm sure she'll understand. After my dad died in a hospital, I... I, I just can't see Aunt Mamie there too. It's too scary. Losing your father in an accident is really sad, Kira. But you need to believe that Mamie is going to get better. And I know she loves you, no matter what. Hey, me. <gasps> Please, go back to the house and rest. My Mimi's home. The doctor says you can't be on your feet all day anymore. No, nope, I'm not resting until I check on my patients and my nieces. Kira, Alexis. <gasps> Aunt Mimi. Oh. oh, I am so happy to see you two. You two are a sight for sore eyes. Oh, come here. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> so good to mm. see you, dear. Mm. I'm so glad you're home. Me too. We missed you. Mm. I heard all about your little adventure in the bush. Well, we've had a bit too much excitement around here. Now, Mamie, I'm going to go prepare lunch and you're going to eat it and then you're going to rest. All right? I'll come and help. <sighs> <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry I didn't visit you in the hospital, Aunt Mamie. I understand, dear. Hospitals are scarier than the Australian bush. I don't think I'm cut out for hospitals or the bush. I've made so many mistakes since I came here. 
It's my fault that Bean didn't bond with Mom. And I left the door open to the wombat pen, and I even fed a predator in the bush camp. Oh, Kira. I made all kinds of mistakes when I first started at the sanctuary. But then I realized one day that if I didn't believe in myself, I'd be defeated before I even tried. So every time I have a big job to do, I take a deep breath and make a list in my head of everything I needed to tackle. Like a mental preparation list? Exactly. I can do that. I love preparing. Good, because I'm going to need your help as we prepare to take Bean to his new home tomorrow. <sighs> it's going to be hard to say goodbye. It will be hard, but remember that finding a new mum is what's best for Bean. Mm-hmm. I have made a lot of mistakes. But now that Aunt Mamie is back from the hospital, things are starting to feel right again. I just need to find the strength to say goodbye to my sweet little bean tomorrow. And there's still one more thing I need to make right before then. Ugh, what a day, huh? Yeah, I know I should get some sleep. But I'm still worried about Bean going to a new home. You know what I like to do when I'm really worried? Dance it off! Come on! <laughs> oh, I love this song! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> Woo Spins! Nice move! <laughs> Come on, Brecky. It's time for you to go to a new home where you won't hurt any other animals. I caught the predator! Oh, well done, Kira. Oh, you've caught a baddie before breakfast. Excellent work. And we've got more good news too. The fire chief says that thanks to Kira and Alexis's early warning, they were able to contain the bushfire overnight. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. And now that the predator is caught, we can release Badgie back into the wild. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> I hope Bean likes his new home and mom. I'm sure he'll take some time to settle in, but eventually, Bean will come to love his new mum, just like he loves you. Aww. The cat is all packed up and ready to go to the shelter. Will you tell them that the cat's name is Brecky? Of course. Dearie, it's time to pack up Bean for his new home. <sighs> okay. Wait! <laughs> he can't go without his stuffy. It might seem strange at your new home at first, but remember that change is good and that it can bring you new friends. And in your case, a new mother. Oh, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry. <sighs> Bye, Bye, Bean! Bean. Good luck! The hardest thing about taking care of wild animals is saying goodbye when the time comes. Mm-hmm. And we have one more goodbye left to do today. Hmm. Hmm. Are you sure it's safe, Aunt Mimi? Yes. His wounds are healing up nicely. And now that the predator's gone, this little guy will be much happier out in the bush. Oh, I hate goodbyes. But I love to see an animal in its natural habitat. Mm-hmm. And I think the Bailey Sanctuary is the natural habitat for you girls. I think so too. I've learned so much since I got here. I know how to feed a fussy koala. I can spot and catch a predator. And we even helped to contain a wildfire. And you made a new best friend too. <laughs> <laughs> you girls are both part of the Bailey family. And even though our family might change and grow, you two will always have a home here at the sanctuary. Oh. Are you ready to say goodbye to Veggie? Are you? Yeah, I think so. If we do it together... I'll let you girls do the honours. Go on, Veggie. It's time for you to be free again. 
Oh, 